Returning to our top story, Singapore becomes the first country to approve the sale of meat developed from animal cells. It's approved under the category of novel food. Now, for more on this, we're joined by Mark Post, professor of vascular physiology at Maastricht University. He was the scientist who created the world's first cell-grown beef burger seven years ago, and is involved in cell-grown food research. Uh, professor, thank you for joining us uh, this evening.、Uh, what are some important considerations in creating cell-grown food, and are there special steps you have to take to make it taste like the real thing? And is it even possible to really create、uh, just about anything? Uh, well, it is possible to create just about anything,、um, and some companies are working on beef, like ours. Some on chicken, some on fish, some on、um, pork. So yes, you can create、um, everything. The first products will be minced meat products, like the chicken nuggets that Just is proposing, or the hamburger that we made in 2013, just because it's technologically a little bit easier.、Um, It is a、uh, advanced technology coming from the medical field, and to transform that into a food industry, it requires scaling up and getting costs down eventually to、uh, to get it to the level where consumers can、um, actually en masse buy it. Yeah, so、uh, I'm just wondering those those key obstacles, as you just mentioned, perhaps cost、uh, is one of them. But、uh, from the time that you started on this kind of research years ago, how have you plotted consumer demand?、Uh, has it been growing, and how far are we from it becoming from nice to have to part of you know just、uh, our everyday sort of choices? Yeah.、Um... Well, it's important that eventually this will become a commodity because all these companies are aiming to replace livestock、uh, meat industry just because it's very inefficient and damaging to the environment. So it is it is pivotal that we all、uh, embrace this, and it's it's highly、um, commendable by the Singapore government that they are kind of the first to to embrace this.、Um, the The consumer acceptance is something that is always a little bit difficult to measure for a product that's not on the market yet. But there have been quite a few surveys,、um, starting in 2011 up till now, where you see gradually an increasing acceptance, at least a theoretic acceptance. Well, well, I will, I will start to eat this when it becomes available,、um, and that is kind of、um, that that kind of goes. In line with、uh, growing concerns about environmental impact of livestock,、uh, animal,、uh, livestock agriculture. So, I think it makes sense, and I think the general public starts to appreciate that we need alternatives.、Uh, has there been a sort of, or have you seen or experienced any sort of pushback faced by the industry? Usually, when something new comes in and proves to be a bit of a game changer, there is a little bit of resistance. Uh, yeah, of course, and、um, there is here too. We have seen in a couple of states in the United States that、uh, there was some pushback in, and mostly on battles: should we should we allow to call this meat or not?、Um, and、um, uh, the, some verdicts have been out there: some positive, some negative.、Um, on the other side, there is a lot of investment from the meat industry, from large players in the meat industry. In these endeavors, so、um, I think eventually people will understand that they better be part of this than、uh, oppose it too much. Oh, Professor Mark Post, so many more questions. We'll have to have you back again. But、uh, that was uh, Professor Post uh, from uh, the Maastricht University. He's the professor of vascular、uh, physiology. Thank you so much.